Hi everyone, my name is Prithvi Chaturvedi from Informatica GCS and today we will talk about how to create data entity classification in CDGC. The agenda is to learn about data entity classification. Data entities are collection of data elements and are derived based on an inclusion scope. Data entity classification will identify the semantics of data entities such as purchase order, invoice, customer, person or address. We will also see how to create data entity classification, how to associate data entity classification to catalog source in the demo. To create a data entity classification, go to the MCC page of CDGC, click on new data classification, select data entity classification and create. Give the name of your classification, the description if you want and the type would be entity. Now comes the inclusion scope that will identify what all entities you wish to choose as the classification for example for address we can select address line address column maybe country and then you can include all or any hit on save and your data classification is saved successfully if you want to see the newly created data entity classification, you can just go to explore, select the data classifications and here you can see your newly created data entity classification. You can also edit this. You can make any changes and save it again if you want. If you want to associate the catalog, the newly created data entity classification to the catalog source you can just open your catalog source under mcc and then go to configuration go to data classification and here you can associate the newly created data entity classification click on ok and now once it is added you have to save it And run your resource once you run the data classification job you can see it associated with your uh, with your catalog source once the job completes you should be able to see the classification associated uh, under the asset to learn more about the data entity classification you can refer the following documents Please give your feedbacks on support videos at informatica.com or follow us on Twitter. Thank you.